Okay, so today is How Was Your Day Bombshell on Friday. Um, well, I'm a little under the weather in case you haven't noticed, but I'll get through it. I always do. I power through things. Anyway, um, we I worked today. Grandpa got his meals on wheels today. I'm going to miss him the next two days, but I found a really nice thing for him to eat for tomorrow's dinner. I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Um, anyway, um, I got the, the whole book read that was that funny romantic comedy book, and I wish I had more of those. I, it, it was so good, and it, it was enjoyable, and there was passion, and there was funniness, and there combine the two and it was just an outstanding two books and I'm going to miss reading stories like that. I started reading a new story uh, which is uh, Maisie Yates who's one of my favorite authors and it's a desire book so it's a little bit more passion filled but it's automatically a love hate relationship and there's a lot of push and pull and I'm trying to find what where I put the book because I, oh there it is it's called Claiming the Rancher's Heir. And her dad has taken a step back from the business. Her and her sister, her family has taken over the business. And now she's got to work like with her greatest enemy. But there's always been a chemistry there. Even her family can recognize that these two belong together. But the two characters can't recognize that. So it's kind of comical in a way. But yet it's unique how everybody else around them is just like they're two magnets that have this pull but yet they can't see it themselves so it's going to be a good story uh, however I have taken a time out from reading because my stomach was starting to get upset and starting to just I worry a lot I worry 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 and I know better than to worry but um, anyway um, what do I worry about well st some stuff you can't fix and some stuff you can you know um, so I started doing my uh, adult, adult coloring on my Bible phrase here. I wish you could see it. it. says, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. You can see my progress over on my Instagram account. Um, I started showing the progress when I did the lettering and the peaches and then I started showing more progress when I did the grapes and the leaves of the grapes. Um, we'll see if I finish that up tomorrow. If I take my time with that, we'll just have to wait and see. My stomach, like I said, is not in a good place. Um, I just worry about everything. On a good news note, let's, let's focus on some good. I finished one of my payment books today with the SUV. That's something to be thrilled over, okay? So that's good news. However, my SUV takes more vacations than I do. Now, what do I mean by that? It's going to go to the shop for an oil change, routine oil change, nothing to be too concerned about here. Um, but I don't have a day off till Wednesday. So what we're going to do is I'm going to drive it out there Tuesday night, leave a note reminding them, hey, you know what? It's just here for an oil change, please. And thank you. And hopefully it'll have no problem. Knock on wood, other than the oil change. Um, and I, I just want everything to work itself out, and, and I worry about that as well. Um, I've signed up for a lot of new magazines. I haven't heard from them yet, which, a little stressed over that as well. And, um, hopefully it, all those, I, I, I pick out the Bill Me Later, which sometimes I, you know, is a blessing, but sometimes it's a curse. And I just hope everything works out well on that. Um, what magazines have I ordered? Time, uh, I renewed my Reminisce magazine with Reminisce Extra, and also, um, oh, I want to say it was Country, uh, Woman or Country Living, one of those country magazines, but I'm anxious to see what, when the bills come for that. I did get a new magazine in the mail today. Thank God it didn't give me a bill. It's a uh, St. Saturday evening post and I already went through it marked off some points of light to share with you in that book um, My mom's like go to bed early tonight since you're so under the weather and you work the next four days Which I probably will which is ironic um, But why it's fresh in my mind. Let's do the book review two books in one and 
I'm just going to try and push through and see if we can't finish that Woman's Day magazine as well and maybe start Saturday Evening Post because, you know, I know we have plenty of time that technically the books, the magazines won't be dropped off for two more weekends, but I like to be ahead of the game and, you know, stay ahead of the game. So we'll just have to see how that plant pans out. Um, anyway, I, I'm stressing a lot and worried about a lot of things. I think I've said that a million times tonight. I'm going to be putting a Gatorade in the refrigerator. Gatorade Zero, to be exact. It's the only thing that kind of calms my nerves and my stomach. Um, my anxiety, if you will. Um, I find it strange that... Out of all my videos I've made lately, when I said I was tired and depressed last night, that video got a like. And maybe it was the, the arts and crafts part of it. Maybe I overthink things too much. But, um, and I just find it odd that other videos don't get as many views. And, and I worry about that as well. Um, around the house, we are looking for chat, like driveway gravel chat. There's a couple of guys that um, have I have talked to on the phone about the driveway gravel. One guy was going to drive by and then shoot me an email with an estimate while well, he's never shot me the email. The other guy gave me an outstanding price, but I thought it was a little high, which now it, I guess it was a gift from the way the other guy was talking, but he was like, well, they won't spread it for you for that price because we, what we get is like the river pebble, I guess is what they call it, and then they... We of course, Grandpa is too old to want to get out there and rake it down, and I have too much going on that I don't have the opportunity to get out there and rake it down, so I've asked him to spread it. This one dude said $330, and I guess that's the one we're going to end up going with because the other one never did shoot me a, a, an email. So uh, that takes care of that. That's one of the things that went on today. Another is I've noticed that the attic we have what I call a door or panel to the attic and it's outside. Well, it's been kind of pushed off the adjustment panel, if you will. I don't want grandpa on a ladder. I don't want me on a ladder because I'm scared of heights. So I'm in the process of looking for a handyman that will A, get up there and not only put the door down, but just check the attic and make sure that there's nothing like little critters that may have gotten in because the doors adjusted funny um, and it's so funny I put it on my Facebook and I thought somebody anybody would help me out with it but nobody has offered to help out with that and I, I just thought somebody anybody would have helped me out with that really so now I'm trying to find somebody who can help out with that um, other than that, that's basically what's going on right now. Nothing too major. Um, just little odds and ends here and there, but enough for me to stress and worry about and hope that it, everything, you know, turns out okay. But, um, oh goodness, my stomach. Need some water. Um, stay tuned. And next up, let's finish that Woman's World magazine so we get that out of the way, okay? And before I leave on this video, please, if you are out there with evil intentions, don't watch, don't like it. But if you are out there with goodness and kindness in your heart and you want the best for me, which I want the best for everyone who views my videos, and I, I am amazed that it's been high views lately with no picture of me, just my voice. So thank you, first and foremost. Secondly, um, let's all, you know, empower each other by lifting each other up, not bringing people down and being negative or wanting the worst for anybody, you know. Um, I'm at the point where I know I'm old and I know... But I'm not a Barbie doll, okay? And I'm not competing with any Barbie dolls out there. So um, I'm probably going to wind up old alone, and that's okay. I'm okay with that. Um, I, I've been okay with that since I gave away the wedding dress, okay? And um, I just wish the best for everybody out there, and 
I'm just going to continue on my path, um, which is being a caregiver first, granddaughter second, and, you know, nothing else in my life besides being a pet parent, and that's the way it is, okay? So, sit there, stay tuned, and we'll do a book review next.